the anger of a lot of young Nigerians. Mm. So having somebody uh, so audaciously come and mm. say it's a win-win, a lot of people will be thinking win-win for we that mm. lost money or have not been able to make our businesses. Mm -hmm. How exactly do you mean? But I think it ties into what we've been hearing from this administration mm. about why Twitter was banned, how they are handling it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take away. For me, it's he's he's just said something that has been uh, that's in tandem with what they've been saying. Mm. I could have been surprised if it's ordered that Twitter be mm. unbanned, um, spending certain things that's the one that we don't know w when that will happen mm -hmm. Lai Mohammed had earlier said it will be lifted soon soon keeps shifting you know soon mm -hmm. soon soon will be in 2023 and soon would not have arrived yet so mm -hmm. I don't think it was really I wasn't I wasn't surprised at wow. all I was I surprised wasn't. that I mean as the media Maybe because age, as you said you've known the guy yeah. and then also like, I think that he, he felt like he didn't expect that question he should have expected that question of I course think. I mean why, why would he you not like expect that question he felt like he wasn't prepared no no I no, no, no that that that's that's the Nigerian media no, now that they'll send questions for no, you why? and tell you you cannot ask this question no, why did he <laughs> why, why might even look like he didn't expect that question was because he probably would not be looking at anybody asking him his personal opinion mm. about the government decision you know. Was it his sure. personal opinion? Yeah, he was, was asking, what yes. did he? How did? What said, did he? Said, do you support? Yes. Do you support? Do you support? I mean, why wouldn't he support his <laughs> principles? His yeah. principles yeah. move and then come out of CNN to say, "I mm. do not support." Yeah, I wish should have resigned before not. saying that. Of course mm. not. That was why Tolu also said that. That's not a question you have asked me. Mm. By By Spotify. Spotify. FM, yeah, true Interesting. That. Okay. All right. Well, let us know what your thoughts are. Let us know. You can text us. You can call us. We're hopefully going to have some uh, time for telephone calls um, this morning. So uh, please make sure as you're listening that you know, do not just listen. If you're watching on Facebook, leave a comment right under this video and then share this video allegedly inciting the public and solid in Anambra stage earlier on Thursday. According to the Nigerian army, Chiwetelagu's actions negates the peace efforts in the region. Given the security situation in the state that has degenerated in the past few months, leading to wanton killings and kidnappings. Of course, a lot of people have come out. I think it was, was it Renault Mokre. Quite a number of people have come out to... Um, to speak out, to speak out against you know what the uh, what has been done to him. For those who may not know, he's the Nollywood um, veteran, and so. But in the first place, people are saying, why was he? Now they are saying that he may be financing um, IPOB. There's another story where they are ac accusing him of financing uh, IPOB. But I mean, is it is this against his rights? Or in the first place, should he? not have been found to be in support of a group like IPOP that we all know that in current times um, they have just not been well doing the right thing first off uh, by this government IPOP has been prescribed mm -hmm. it has been also even tagged a terrorist organization uh, that's first off so if you look at the, f the face of, yeah. uh, of the government's reaction to such uh, an affront that's what you probably get mm -hmm. for someone to wear it where this insignia of a Biafra that is non existent as well is also can be seen as an affront to the military or to government mm -hmm. as as a threat, you know, to the to the existence of the corporate Nigeria. But um I mean I'm asking have we been able to f find those who are behind Boko Haram? Mm -hmm. To now say Chiwetelagu is sponsoring IPOB. I mean, what is the financial strength? Mm. Is there any is there any investigation you know that will lend credence to such a conclusion that this man is sponsoring IPOB? But to say to say it clearly, I think government is just holding on to straw. Government should go all out to find those who are destabilizing the nation. Mm. Not just people who are expressing themselves. If you if you pick if you, if you have picked you with an argument and say he was wearing mm. the the uh, what do you call it now the flag mm. of of Biafra, that might be a, that might be at best. I'm not a lawyer. A civil disobedience at best. Not to not to tag him a terrorist or a terrorist financier mm. if you do not have a solid reason mm. or evidence. To say so, or to 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 to, to allege so, yes. for me that's my point. I mean, that that man looks like a harmless human <laughs> being on the street who probably is even begging.
I think we should tie this story to the proposed um, state of emergency mm-hmm. that was um, being suggested by Malami. Oh. Uh, even though we know how that has turned with what the comments of um, the governor, Obiano, after meeting mm-hmm. the president uh, yesterday, I think there were some insinuations that he said the president is not aware that yeah. um, uh, there was even talk about... That, 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 that commentary is really sad for me. But looking at the issues of um, Chiwetelagu and mm-hmm. him being arrested, for having done those Biafra flag colors. Um, as she said, I think it is just clutching on straws, really, because maybe this is not exactly the best example to pose here. We know mm-hmm. that the IMN, Islamic Movement of Nigeria, have also been um, proscribed by this government. This government, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know what their official colors are, but mm-hmm. I think they wear black and black whenever they protest. And I know, yes, they've had some clashes with the police and the military on some of their protests, but I don't think anybody has been has been arrested for wearing black and black mm. and identifying as being a member of the IMN, even though the group itself has been proscribed. Right. Yeah, so I feel like in this case, as in several others, there seem to be much more pressure and much more like killing the mosquito with a sledgehammer in the IPOPS case as against other cases. And that's where the outrage has been, mm. that there's no fairness. His energy and is not sane when it comes to other... Yes, there's no fairness, mm. you know, when, when they're treating IPOP as against when they're treating other groups, you know, proscribed or not from other parts. And that is... Um, one major issue. And then when you look at it, yes, he's, he was wearing the colors, but how does that um, encourage, like, how is that, how is that such a huge threat to how, the Nigerian state? How does he incite violence? Mm. No, I mean, there's the argument that he was encouraging people mm-hmm, to join mm-hmm. and take up arms no, sorry, how in support. Inc- how does he incite violence? Yeah, because, Usually they would just quote the history of IPOB and say IPOB members have been killing and burning police stations. So when you're telling people to join or that's like telling them to carry arms and go and burn INEC mm. offices and it's not exactly a sane argument to make, but we know that people will make such arguments. But at the, I think at the center of it, it's, 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 it, it's, it's, it shouldn't have happened. Majoring it was, on minors. Exactly, that's it. All right, well, Lai Mohammed has, has a response to that. I think you mentioned, both mentioned the fact that this energy is not seen when it comes to, I think it was on a TV show recently, uh, and uh, the Minister of Information and Culture spoke on renewed onslaught against bandits on the program monitored by News Agency of Nigeria. They said the approach of the federal government Government through the military in treating criminals is not to make a distinction between bandits and terrorists. He says, I think we have been dancing around nomenclature. A criminal is a criminal, whether it is a bandit or terrorist, and the same measure is being meted out to them. That is why we find it ridiculous the accusation that the federal government is softer on bandits than the separatists and other criminals. This is a fallacy, fake news, and misinformation all in one. And this is the kind of divisive rhetoric being promoted by some naysayers. It may have been unintentional, but that's what they're doing. Take the the president's speech, for example, and that example, um, that instance that people have quoted, stating categorically that they have identified some people in um, the National Assembly who are financing um, IPOP and that they were going to go after them and what, 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 and there was no mention of. Mm-hmm. I mean, you run a state, mm-hmm. a nation that is. Um, that has diverse people, that is very diversified, and you have to be seen Absolutely. always as being fair. And I, th- I don't think this government has come to terms with that exactly. It just right. hasn't been able to understand that concept, in right. my opinion. And I totally agree, because I feel like it's not just about saying, this is what I'm doing, but are you seen to be doing mm-hmm. what you're so, saying? Mm-hmm. Because I didn't look at how quick we've, with this Chiwetelagu thing has escalated from zero to 100 because it was wearing... But on the other hand, you say you're not treating bandits and terrorists with kid gloves, but we don't see... Let us see. You may say you are doing, but what we see is that there are certain people who mm. are fingered to be at, uh, involved in certain things, but they are still in government or they are still working with you, etc. So at the end of the day, you may say you are doing something, but what, what, what we see is totally different. Now, to be fair, this could have been at the discretion of the officers that arrested Chiwetel, Chiwetel, Chiwetel. Chiwetel. So maybe on a higher note, maybe nobody would have 
you know, ordered for him. No. Maybe these are so, oh, some overzealous people acting the way that they are. So, and so that so is the, not exactly this government to be blamed no, for that. Once, once that has happened, uh, they have people they report to. Mm. Exactly. Those people should be making statements. They, they don't argue. Yeah, this is, this is, for them, this is no. insig insignificant. It, it like, insignificant. Why should we be talking about it, a, so, a nobody that no. was... Yes, we have traced them up to this point. And we can say that by this bank transfer and that bank transfer and, ba and that bank transfer, he has been financing IPOB. But, but, but they picked him up. Mm. Where is Chiwet Alago? Maybe in the one army, one military detention, detention or something. There. So, so the point is, they should have been making statements about it. There is public relations officer for the Nigerian mm. military. There's a spokesperson who should be saying, look, this is all, even a release, a mm. simple release to say, this is not ordered by the military. And then we, we take it off that table. But I, I, let me also add <laughs> that so that someone who is just listening to us for the first time does not think that this means a support for the activities of IPOB or the ways that they've gone about their, um, their demanding for secession or whatever. We've said it time and time again on this platform that IPOB and its activities um, are totally wrong. It's terror at the heart of it because now people in the Southeast can't live as freely as they used to. The elections, which are less than a month away, are being threatened by the activities of um, IPOB. There are talks of imposing a state of emergency in Anambra State because of IPOB. So let it not be mistaken um, where we stand on the issues or activities um, of IPOB, especially in the way that they have chosen chaos and violence in executing that. That is clear. Um, it's out there. It's been condemned. But then again, there are certain aspects of how government has handled this that continues to be in discussion every time this subject comes up. All right. So without further ado, let's take a short commercial break. When we come back this week, also there was outrage about the... Um, rising cost of food, specifically uh, the price of beans that went up to about 100,000 naira. A lot of people are asking, where's the outrage? We'll come back and talk about why there's no outrage anymore these days in Nigeria, no matter what maybe, happens maybe, in the country. Maybe, maybe we're outraged fatigue. We're outraged. We're out of outrage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after this. Don't go away. Splash FM 105.5 Oh, God, don't you know they enjoy in house at all? The man will just enter a new duplex for Ireland and in roof don't they give a wahala. Hey, he can remember in friend Remy when you am about the roofing and ceiling matter. Remy roof still they get dig bar through any kind way that we land. No, they do like Ogaton you. Choose top right roofing and ceiling sheet way strong. We fine, we well, and we they available nationwide. For more to read, visit www.purechemindustries.com. Na top right roofing and ceiling sheet we confirm. Wow, the chat and come for my girl. Wow. You they wash plenty, and you they say wow. you fit to win the millions. As you they wash with, as you they wash with, wow. Jump fifty k every day. Wow. If on that time to take calculate, wow. million million naira full of ground. If you want to know how, just check the pack. Wow. Check your own car though when you wash with, wow. wow. The chat and you they wash show. Million million naira break a time. Wow. This promo will end for the twenty fifth of October, two thousand and twenty one. Milo! Yes! <laughs> Tell me first, why do I give you Milo every morning? Because every day I play like a baller, I run like a sprinter, I learn like a scholar, so I need all the energy I can get, you see? <laughs> <laughs> I see very well. Give your kids winning energy. Milo Active Go, with the goodness of malls, milk, and cocoa, helps them make the most of every day. Milo, the energy to go further.
The jungle has called. And the contestants have answered. The age of craftsmanship is upon us. Who will unearth the treasure and take home the prize this brand new Ultimate Search season? Get ready for an exciting adventure on Ultimate Search. Showing on Africa Magic Showcase, Urban and Family. Saturdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. on DSTV from the 16th of October. This show is rated 18. DSTV, it's your moment. who's watching. It's putting your enjoyment first. It's adding color to the gray and making time to play. It's not taking life too seriously and adding a touch of crazy. Fanta is flavor. Fanta is laughter. Fanta is color. How are you going to color your day? Fanta. Color every moment. Uncle Dentist, what can be cavities? And how Colgate take they protect my teeth from cavities? Say they use Kung Fu. No, dear. Now hold for teeth they cause most tooth pains will be cavity. But if you use Colgate Maximum Cavity Protection, take brush every day. The confirmed formula could help keep natural calcium inside our teeth. We could protect them from tooth decay. Hang on, Rich. So upgrade to the world's most chosen toothpaste, Colgate. Because Colgate loves calcium in... Yes, and the Nigerian Dental Association, they recommend Colgate. Aha! Capsule my people. Capsule or general pain. go hammer one time. Capsule get three in one power. To pain and fever. We and light get paracetamol, caffeine plus ibuprofen. with power of three in one is strong past pain. Three days if your body not better, make you see your doctor. Now, Shalina Healthcare Limited, the market arm. Bo bini yon, e sumo vye wak bo wu, di yon roban bo yon inu, o bote wak bo so o sita ni, i dini yi, ti vi o ar o wak ba, fi nke te fu bo bo mo ele kwe jekwe, be o ti ya wu, o ro ti to so, ni pa bo shi lò, lò rò rò tu a tu tu lò rile di wà, e lò furu kò si lè, lò rè rò yi mjara, voice of reason, o wak ba, ni bite o ti ma so unte e fè, ato unte o fè, e o fi li fò mu, ti a o fi mò ni pa yin da da, o ru kwe gbe yin, i bo lè fi kale si, me lò la wò mwe gbe yin, a ti be be lò, Narawa eja soju abenko kabara wa so toro ai sini be kukula idasi o baba se ngbo gbe 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 ka wa no ya ba won gbe ni agaga lori awon to nbe nle yi lati foruko sile e lo si www.vor.org.ng ka le ba gbo ohun ti eyin na so voice of reason o mu agba lo wi pe laarin arawa eje kabara wa soro hey you yes you LifeMate has another mouth-watering offer just for you. Get quality mattresses originally priced at 340,000 Naira just for 99,000 Naira. All you need to do is call us up on our number 081-2000-6000 and you will be eligible for this awesome discount. And remember, this discount is only available if you call us up. You don't want to miss out. With LifeMate, you too can sleep like the royalty you are. LifeMate. Your life made forever. Splash FM 105.5. Morning Splash. Morning Splash. Morning Splash. Morning splash. 
Welcome back. It is still the Big Breakfast Show with your favorite radio show host. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And of course, we're looking at some of the top stories this week. And of course, uh, news broke this week of how the price of beans specifically, I mean, even though, I mean, the prices of a lot of things have really been skyrocketing. This story uh, from just a few days ago talked about the standard of living of an average Nigerian under President Muhammadu Buhari government is steadily declining every day as prices of food continue to skyrocket daily. Without any doubt, the current increase in prices of goods and services is tied to low farming activities, low productivity as a result of the worsening insecurity, especially in the northern region. Many farmers flee their farms out of fear for their lives as bandits, Boko Haram and headsmen attack communities and kidnap families. The current realities are forcing families into hunger as an average Nigerian who could not afford to feed three times in a day are now struggling to feed twice or less because of the economic situation in the country. But before I went to that break, we talked about why. I mean, there was, I mean when this news broke, yes, it was on social media, beans, the bag of beans now 100k but that was where it ended and i mean i fear that things will continue to get to a point where you know we'll just say yeah and we'll move on but what is the cause of this what do we call this uh, someone had said that we have been we have been couched to the point where we cannot speak anymore i mean somebody was saying the other day why don't we protest the last time we protested mm -hmm. what happened what how did that turn out so i mean what do you, what are your thoughts what do you think has happened to us we are people that know how to suffer and smile you Yes, it is well. That's our mm, favorite mm. slogan. As far as I can share, be able to buy it. Mm, Even though I don't mm. buy as much as I used to buy, I can share, buy small. I still afford it's, it. Yes, that's, that's basically how we are. And it's yes, it's bad for our, our psyche, but what is the hope, really? Um, I stopped thinking about these things because... Um, it, it gets me to feel down, especially when I think in Nigeria, history has proven most times that when things go up, they hardly ever come mm -hmm. down. So exactly. this is the trajectory for us. Um, who's going to save us? We don't even know how that's happening or that's how that's going to happen. So everybody's just adopting this mm. isolationist uh, pattern. Let me shall be able to survive. Mm. Me and my family. Mm -hmm. Let us be fine. Let us. And then they, they don't care how else is going. And that's the mentality for a lot of people. Right, really. So you are looking for outrage. Have you had this prayer? No matter how expensive it is, God hey, should be looking right for I me. I've heard that prayer. That, that's, yeah. a, that's the kind of prayer that people pray yes, these days. Isolationist. You know, I mean, mm. Exactly. Now let's. It's. That there could be different reasons for this surge in price of beans. Yes. For economists, you you will consider insecurity in the north mm -hmm. east. Yes. You will think about it. So when you hear kidnapping, you hear headsmen, farmer clashing. When you hear kidnapping of fa farmers, don't think they are isolated case uh, situations or something that is very far mm -hmm. removed from us. That's the effect coming to us right now. So. You see low inventory, mm -hmm. you see high cost of transportation, mm -hmm. you see the effect of security, mm -hmm. you know, Even and hoarding. Uh, hoarding, hoarding because of, um, we're, we're getting to the end of the year, and so from some of us are unable to go to the farm again. Mm -hmm. So you see, and now it's, for those who have been watching it, it didn't just come to 1,200, 1,500 just now, it's been an inc a gradual increase. Anybody who has been studying NBS report for mm. the past uh, three, four months, you'll have seen that gradual increase mm. of things. Some time ago, I said, I think about two or three months ago, I said here that I'd never seen a situation where you go to the market, you want to buy rice mm. and beans, and you discover that beans is more expensive mm. than rice. That's, sure. But that's what's happening to us right now. So when the Northeast is insecure, mm. when farmers are afraid to go to the farm, mm. when transport cost is higher, then is you should expect get? this. Even though the president says it is middlemen, mm. that's the reason. Uh, it was uh, part of his speech. He said, and I think I had a Who discussion. Said, the, the president, president yes. the middlemen. Yes, yes. The, 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 cause, the cause of the rise that we're seeing in foodstuff yes. is because of the activities of middlemen and they're finding ways to squash mm. that. Where, where is the research coming from? Well, he's the president. I mean, it's my assumption that he, he knows. He conducted some research before he made that. Yes, better than all of us <laughs> how things are going. And so I, I think I, I kind of tried to dispute that yesterday and someone was like um, it is true that we are a greedy people at mm. the core of us so yes. when you think of yes I may not agree in the entirety of it but I think that it is possible that actually um, middlemen activities could be yes there's there's insecurity and how um, 
um, the insecurity is, is affecting farmers and their ability to go to the farms. But sometimes you see people, they buy something for as little of, as 100 naira and then they sell it off at 500. Yeah, mm -hmm. someone might say that's enterprise. I'm doing business. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get profit for myself. There's nothing wrong. But I think that there should be a correlation, at least some... Mm -hmm consideration if you buy something a certain price you shouldn't add so much on mm. it that mm. becomes twice the price right, so right. do i believe that there can be some truth in the statement of the president yes. that middlemen are responsible right totally and I, yeah and i agree as well but there has to be someone who's you regulated see, who see, are regulators see, that's the problem that i had with that greedy. problem me, with who that, are, who are those that statement by the president but let me let me give you let me give you another thing you to consider if you have increase in supply, mm. the middle men effect will not be this visible. Mm. There is short in supply. That's what they call yes. the inventory. That is short feel, supply. When there's short, feel scarcity, exactly. people start to hold. So that's why you now have people buying it, mm. hoarding it, and then selling it in trickles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at what happened in the UK. Even in the UK, when they're saying, yeah. yes, what was in, happening? In can, so people will always be once, people. Once there is a limited supply of, of this material or this commodities, that's where you see a people coming into the value chain. Unlike in the UK where we saw like um, an emergency response to this thing. Thank you. Yeah, they That's just tell happens. us the problem. Exactly. And then go and do Absolutely. as you want. I was, I was you very know. happy that they picked those, yes. those, those so shameless Nigerians. Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> they were I just mean, exhibiting Nigerian to show yeah. that no matter. Yeah. 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 You see why they said we're greed. We're greedy at the core of us. Sure. People there in the no, U but it was not just Nigerians that did that. There are people who did you use that? Read that particular story that had yes. five. I know Nigerians from one certain part of uh, the. Uh, don't, you're you're on your own. <laughs> don't don't start that. <laughs> but you know it just goes i mean people were beating them and it was not just nigerians that were beating themselves at fail station just to show you that there has to be look just like your children when you're not home they would do and uh, that's why you're the parents that's mm -hmm. why you are the mm -hmm. leader that's mm -hmm. why you must regulate that's why you must make sure enforce absolutely as opposed to just saying oh we're doing this and people are just not no we i should mean, take also and, and, yes. and, and then we have green reserves what, what's happening to our green reserves hmm. all right well okay let's Questions. This, uh, call hello good morning Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name, please? I'm Charles from Yano Church. Okay, Charles from Yano Church. Go ahead. Good yeah. to have you here. Yeah, good morning. I think I enjoyed the narrative of Mr. Sheon this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, it is right for the Nigerian army to arrest Mr. Sheon. That man, if you know him, is a notable Hollywood actor. Mm -hmm. Now, for somebody like that to come out with the flag of an uh, a prescribed group, where the Nigerian government is trying to bring sanity, it can incite it and it can cause uh, uh, it can cause public disturbance. So I think the Nigerian army are the right, they are doing the right thing. Mm. Secondly, on the sale of our assets, I think there might be some assets that are more important. Fine, they can be sold. But when you talk about the NNTC, we need refineries, even more refineries now. Because we have enough, whether we like it or not, we have enough problem in our petroleum uh, sector. So I don't agree that we should sell off the uh, refineries. And lastly, on our debt profile and the borrowing, I think it is good for the government to go after those who have looted this country. We have a lot of money in individual, in people's hands, where they have been looted. If those money can be recovered, it would go a long way in reducing our debt, and the money can be flung back into the economy to better the life of Nigerians. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Let's take this. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. What's your name, please? Okay, my name is Dyer. I'm calling from Malibu. Good morning, Dyer. Go ahead. Yeah. Yes, on this issue of that uh, man that was embarrassed by uh, the mm -hmm. army people yesterday, yes. I think it's the wrong thing that we all need to condemn. No matter what, let's look at it. If we say that man is going to, if we are that to incite the public, whatever, one mm -hmm. way or the other, I would love to ask the Afra as itself, is it a thing? Hello? Is, is the Afra a thing that does not exist? You know, it's just like saying Yoruba. Mm -hmm. It's just like saying I'm a manager shaman. So it depends on. Because this Biafra means something to some people. Either we like it or not, you can't take it away from them. That's just the fact. Mm, and it's part true. of Nigeria history. And it mm. will 
always and ever be. Thank you. Mm. Okay. All right. That's an interesting angle. You Let's see the thing care. that this just brought out? He was wearing the flag for Biafra, yes. not for not IPOB. IPOB. True. So really, and like you, know, you said, but Biafra from. has not been, it's the it's group that has been proscribed. Uh, actually, yeah, but like not, I said, there's not a news story that said he was also financing IPOB. I read that in the news. That's as an well. allegation. So wearing, wearing, wearing the Biafra flag also, it could be, it could be said to be an affront mm. because Biafra doesn't exist as a nation anywhere. But one thing Biafra is the not ideology. a crime. That's, that's, yeah, I don't think it was so, 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 so that's, well. that's, that's just that's basically agitation. it. Like, I mean, you can't yes, make it, I, I, it, I, I, I totally that's agree with that as well. Really you know, but if there's an allegation angle. that he, if there was an allegation that he's financing, then obviously they have a cause. Hello, good morning. Let's just take one more thing. Yes. Sorry. We have Thank comments you. on Facebook. Hello, good morning. Let's just take one, just one. Yeah. Hello. Hello, good morning. This is our studio manager, Paris Man. Hello, good morning. Okay, let's take some of the comments on Facebook. Chiguzi Okeke Obweze, please Biafra didn't start with IPOP and wearing a Biafra logo doesn't make me or someone an IPOP member. Yeah, that's... Two wrong can never make a right. This is a Ujone said, Mr. Charles has always been against his own. The next caller speaks sense. Thanks, my brother. Okay, Michael Taylor, Magic Agu said, the 100000 dollars price of bag of beans is exaggerated a bag mm-hmm. and uh, <laughs> says good morning to you uh akinola charity ronke god bless you all i'm so much concerned about how so called our leaders mismanage economy uh, you know, it's a bit long in this country my question is mm-hmm. this with due respect what are these leaders and this understanding about management and economy you know we can solve the problem we don't really understand Thank you very much, actually. Yeah, um, we voted them in now, so... Yeah. All right, that's all we can do. Yeah. Uh, now, thank you very much for being a part of the program. Until next Friday when we're back your way. Do enjoy your weekend. I'm Ronke Kiwa on Nafuwa. Mark, you'll have a wonderful weekend. I'm Charity Jerome. Good morning. Splash of Femme, 105.5. a little bit of your time yes i am here again to bring you that awesome news that you have always wanted and this one is from mama doll cooking oi guess what one of the biggest flex in life is enjoying quality products in affordable packs what if I break this to you? That Mamado cooking oil now comes in a 50 Naira pack. Did I just hear you say, wow, woo? yes, yes, yes. You heard me right. Mamado cooking oil comes in a different pack 